Forget aim assist, forget dead zones, it's time to aim with your own two hands with Fortnite's new and improved gyro controls. See how I turn the camera just by turning the controller? Gyro aiming can be great for everything from slight aim adjustments to fast and precise flicks. Whether you like to hold the controller upright, flat or somewhere in between, you should find that Fortnite's new gyro controls give you a really natural command over the camera and over your weapon. I like the extra stability of having the controller flat in my lap, so let's move to an overhead view of the controller so you can see what I'm doing. From a small layer of extra control just when you need it, to something that can more drastically change how you look around the game world, Fortnite has a wide variety of new options here. So let's have a quick look at what you can do. If you enable gyro controls and don't change anything else, gyro aiming will only be active while you're pressing the aim button or while editing a building. That way you don't have to worry about how you're moving your controller during regular gameplay, but you can activate it whenever you need it. Of course, aiming with the look stick still works as normal, even while gyro is active. Players can still use the look stick for big camera movements and just rely on gyro to line up a shot or track a moving target. Other players like to have their gyro always on. If that's how you're playing, it's usually a good idea to customize your controls so that you have a gyro modifier button. Pressing and holding the gyro modifier button will disable the gyro so you can reposition your controller without messing with the camera. Playing like this, you could even do away with the look stick entirely if you really wanted to. But let's try something different with the stick. When gyro controls are enabled, you also have the option to use flick stick. Flick stick lets you turn the camera by rotating the stick. When you first point the stick in any direction, you'll make a smooth and quick turn to face that direction. For example, pull the stick back to quickly look behind you, or if you're taking fire, point the stick in that direction to see where it's coming from and let gyro aim take care of the rest. Once the stick has been engaged, rotating it will rotate the camera. So between flicking and rotating the stick, this gives you fast and direct control over your bearing at all times. Now, because Flickstick uses the whole range of the look stick just to turn the camera left and right, it gives you no way to look up and down. So Flickstick requires that you have gyro controls enabled, and I strongly recommend Flickstick players either have gyro aiming always on, or make it so that engaging the Flickstick also activates gyro, so they can look up and down whenever they need to. Of course, the more drastically you change your controls, the more practice it's going to take to get comfortable with them. So as you give these new options a go and figure out what works best for you, it's probably a good idea to get some practice in battle lab, creative modes, or at least warm up against wildlife and NPCs before getting yourself into too much trouble. Check out the Fortnite blog for more details on the options available. I'm Jib Smart, input and gyro specialist and the creator of Flickstick, and I've so enjoyed working with Epic to bring these options to Fortnite. I can't wait to see what you do with them.